back again. Each time I die, I return to this point. Stuck in purgatory with the crows circling me, ready to feast on my corpse yet again. It is I, Sir Higton, lost warrior, trapped in the realms of purgatory until I defeat the abominations and the hellspawn that have ransacked heaven. I do not know if anybody is watching or listening to my words. Perhaps some gods up there are finding amusement in my plight. But this never-ending cycle can only be broken if I make it through purgatory to paradise lost, where I must defeat the fallen angel Gabriel to forever vanquish the hellspawn from heaven. The hellspawn, they came to earth first, taking all that they could from everyone weaker than they. They overrun hell. They overrun earth. And now, I sacrifice myself to follow them into heaven so that I may defeat them on even ground. The first of my foes appears. It is a knight. I have fought many, many knights in my times in purgatory. And there, an abomination, a skinless freak. They roam in packs. Headshots see them, gone in one. But they're generally quite weak as well. More, more abominations. Back on earth, they feasted on the flesh of younglings and animals. Hunting in packs, devouring villages upon villages. My last life here in purgatory was ended as I felt the teeth. Ah! Of an abomination stick into me. My finger. My word. That was a, that was a lucky shot. The red monk loosed an arrow. It lodged into my breast, removing one portion of my health. For some reason, my soul is imbued on this crossbow and any damage I take is mirrored in its wood. I've done this journey so many times. Each time though, the afterlife, the purgatory, this never ending nightmare changes. Some things are similar, but the layout is always different. Take that! You shielded freak. The knights are the ones that guarded the abominations. Stood and watched from a distance as they ransacked the villages. Tearing everyone from limb to limb. And the monks, I'm sure we'll hear their sickening chorus soon. Their arrows fly through the skies. Stinging anyone who must get in their way. Luckily, I have my own arrows to repay the favor. I know not how long I have been caught in this loop. Long enough to lose my aim. I haven't eaten a meal in what feels like years, but my flesh has all but disappeared from my body. I'm merely a specter now. Maybe, perhaps, one day, if I complete my mission and destroy the Hellspawn, I will once again be made flesh. Perhaps I will be returned to Earth, where I can be reunited with my son, Henry. Henry Higton. My wife, Henrietta. And my loyal hound, Henry. But for now, I must fight these evil beasts. Every time I kill them, they evaporate into dust, dust and wishes. But they come back. Oh, do they come back. Greater numbers each time. I only recently discovered the 
the shard of teleportation on one of my travels, I uncovered it from a chest. The shard only lasts for a certain amount of time. But if you throw it, you can instantly jump to a space in time. It helps when trying to flank the beasts. I see abominations hiding in this church chapel down here. Perhaps I can get a drop on him. Right in his little weak ankle. The creepy skinless shit. Let's go down. And advance. Another night. He heard me. I must speak in whispers here. For as you can see, the hearing is exemplary. <gasps> Oh my word, abominations, knights, and a red monk. The red monk, one of the dangerous, this, 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 of all the monks. So many arrows, so quickly to fire them, and so, so accurate. The brown monks look like weaklings compared to the red monks. But I finished him off, and now the gods, they've gifted me with the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb will refresh my health. <gasps> Oh no! It was a trick! Was it a gift from the gods or a trick from the Hellspawn? Thankfully, I defeated the knight, and now, to gain the health. Again, I am fully at full strength. I am fully at full strength. Oh my word. What? There is a portal. A portal to the pit of reformation. I did not expect the portal to appear so soon in this adventure, but surely I must go to the Pit of Reformation and try to complete the trials within. Only then will I become powerful enough to deal with this constant onslaught of Hellspawn. You see, every time you die in this purgatory, every time I'm sent back to the beginning to fight more Hellspawn, instead of it getting easier. The Hellspawn, they grow stronger. Time and time again. Stronger and stronger. More of them. New forms. All of them. Aggressive and angry. And ready to eat the flesh of whomever stands in their way. Brown Knight in the nuts. But oh my god. I'm in a tree. And the skeleton ghosts are coming at me. The skeleton ghosts are the most fearsome of skeletons because they can only be hurt by a well-placed shot in the chest. I took them out without any problems, though. Another monk down, and you, headshot for the night. It's all he deserves. He actually deserves to die slow, but I don't have any time to waste. Sir Higton must push on. I have to avenge my town, my city, my my kingdom, Higtonsville. I was the only survivor, except for my family, whom I banished to the furthest realms, the furthest reaches of the kingdoms. I pray they are still alive. I pray one day I shall be able to meet them. But for now, my only companions are the wise why saints of the stained glass windows of purgatory. Sometimes I hear them sing to me. Sometimes I hear them talk to me. But very rarely do they help me. They watch, they witness. Perhaps they're not allowed to help. Perhaps they cannot help, but for some reason the burden is mine and mine alone to face these trials. To face the nightmares. Another night just round the corner. Let's be quiet for a second. Something else on the left. Something on the right, too. Yes, knights on the right. Monk on the left. Retreat. Shit! Absolute banger of a headshot there. In your face. Occasionally. A 
Okay, it was. Well, the, mo the monk seems to have teleported behind me. He had a friend. There he is. Run. The way the arrows whiz past your head. Well, my head is quite terrifying. It really feels like they're getting close. Almost like I can feel the bite of them on my skin before it's even ripped through my soft ghost flesh. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! My only friend now is my shield that I can summon whenever I think of it. Shield ho! Shield high! Shield high! Shield low! Shield here! Shield go! My beautiful magical shield. It serves me well before I enter the, uh, the portal to the pit of reformation. I must head to the merchants. Quickly. Advance using the shards. It's the fastest way to proceed now. I'm in the ghostly temple. The saints. They sing. Bless me, saints. Imbue me with your power. Let me become one with your holy goodness. starting position was yonder, over there. The merchant's tower here teleports me to here, where I can use the gold I have torn from the bodies of my dead foes to purchase brand new weapons for my crossbow or my bow, whichever I prefer. Pestilence or quiver, wildfire. Let's take pestilence. It will slow down their, the enemy's terrible advances. I do not need it yet. At least, not while I'm up here in the relative safety of the merchant's temple. Now I must head back, back. Try the Pit of Reformation. The Pit of Reformation is surely one of the most dangerous places in the Purgatory. More dangerous still than even the final castle, the step before I head to Paradise Lost. So far I have not even seen Paradise Lost or beaten the beast lies in wait at the end of purgatory. Perhaps the pit of perdition. Oh no. Gods. Gods, if you are up there watching, I have made a terrible error. This is not the pit of... This is, this is the pit of perdition. This is what? This is... pit, which I have never completed. I always meet my death here, so full of rampant, angry enemies. I must try to lure them to me one by one, for fear of being overrun. A red monk down there, one shot. I cannot hit him. The fear is immense. Soon the skeletons will appear. That is when things will get. Here they come. The skeletons not only can teleport, but they... Their dead flesh, or their dead bones, birth abominations. There you see, abominations everywhere. A ghost! I must hit it in the chest before it can get to me. Uh, it's gone through the walls. Oh no. Come at me, you fiend. In the chest. Excellent. Another, another ghostly skeleton. Let's awaken it. Come to me, ghostly skeleton. It's, it's vanished into the walls. Will it come back? Perhaps I need to get closer to lure it out. 
filthy, filthy beast. Something has heard me. A skeleton. A skeleton archers are incredibly accurate and absolutely fearless. It's birthed an abomination. Look how fast it runs towards me. It smells my fear. Something hit me. Was it the abomination? I've lost health, but perhaps it was the archer over there. I shall try and take it from a distance. There's a blood of the lamb above these pillars which will help me. Help me on my quest. Skeleton ghost. I can hear it breathing. Another abomination in the knees. He used to be an abomination until he took an arrow to the knee. The prick. Screw you, ghost. stood by that statue. It's down. And what is this? Another skeletal archer. You can never, never know in the pit of perdition how many monsters are left. Because they keep appearing time and time again. Almost as if they are being birthed from the very walls like we are in the wombs of hell. My aim is so poor. Like a feast of ghost sausages. Let's teleport onto here. But perhaps not onto the flames, Sir Higdon. Your feet are not that. Oh, I am on the flames. I did manage to get the blood of the lamb, though. Again, back to full health. <gasps> it's a... a cheruby thing. I have no idea what they're called. Hell beasts. They fire flames. I've slowed them with the pestilence. Headshots will deal with them quicker. The crunch of the headshot is so satisfying. But you can just spam them. And there. Exploding. Just nothingness. Another red archer. F take this, monk. You can spread your ghostly lies and your hell worship somewhere else, but not near me. <gasps> A skeleton ghost. Again. Angry. And what is that there? A skeleton archer. Show yourself. The pillar cannot save you. I must advance closer. He has seen me. His arrows! Dodged! But the skeleton is woken from its slumber. It is dead. The abomination soon to follow. Behind me, another skeleton approaches. Missed! Missed! I have to get him this time! He's coming! you don't d deal with the skeletons soon enough. They pass through your body, ripping your soul from your skin, your bones, taking part of it with you. You're never the same once a skeleton ghost has entered you, become one with you, been inside you, been through you. I see another abomination just, just appeared, just birthed, is down. Now, to move forwards, keeping high, another beast, another winged, grotesque, swollen cherub, his flames spewing out of him. The pillar should protect me. And now, again, into the headshots, the crunch, so satisfying. But will he fall? Will he explode? Ah, again, hide. Dodge, duck and dive. Years, years of repeating these same patterns have given me phenomenal phenomenal reflexes. So phenomenal phenomenal. Some abominations trapped in the cages. I hear them growling. Best put them out of their misery before they find a way to escape and make their way to Earth. What have I become? A 
senseless murdering machine. All I see now is death. Where once I felt I was a fair king. A king who loved his subjects, who tried to protect them from the horrors and the beasts of the forests. Now I feel like I have let them all down. Sometimes I wonder, are the abominations the souls of my subjects that I failed when the Hellspawn came? overran Earth and my kingdom. Am I really on a divine mission to rid purgatory and heaven of these demons, or is it something darker? Am I in hell? Is this my punishment for being a poor king? A king who could not rescue those who needed him the most? The guilt weighs heavily on my mind every day, every time I awaken once more in this stony prison, this infinite hell. He's, he teleported, and then when I struck him down, he became an abomination, but he has left me with the most powerful of, of arrows, Cupid's wrath. load Cupid's wrath and see what it can do. It homes in. It seeks those who are unclean and explodes them. Being down low here is not a good idea. Who knows what can attack me from above, but the abominations are pushing me from the shadows. Another red monk in the distance. I must take him out before he can see me. It's easier said than done. The fear of this place is overwhelming. You can almost eat it. There's so much terror and sadness behind these walls and beneath these floors. Each brick made with the tears of those who have lost and loved and lost loved ones and loved lost ones. Un, un, unwanned, lost, loved. Come here, skeleton. I know you know I'm here. He's ignoring me. They do that sometimes. They are cruel beasts. Who like nothing more than to toy. <gasps> A monk in the face, right through his little monkey veil. His hooded face met my spikiest of arrows. The, the ghost skeleton fading away into the, di the distance and the dark depths of who knows where. It's quiet. Perhaps too quiet. I'll teleport down. Take a look inside this corridor. Nothing is there. I feel like I... <gasps> I can hear a ghost skeleton from within the walls. It's tracking me. Here it comes. I must hit its chest. <sighs> Close. I've created a loop. But now, a new area has emerged. The skeleton ghost will not stop, but the monk will, if I hit it. True. In his chest, he's down. The monk, also down. Three levels of torture above. Another ghost skeleton. Can I tempt it towards me? No. It wants me to make the first move. Like Henrietta Higton that day, in the summer dance, back when peace ruled and 
Hellspawn were not around. We wore flowers in our hair that day, and we danced around the Maypole. We feasted upon only the finest feasts and bounties. It was a bounteous feast, for sure. <laughs> the abomination struck from the side while I was reminiscing. And now, I see a gluttonous cherub. Will there be anything else coming from behind? The terror was strong. It shivers down my spine. How could that abomination attack me while I was reliving the joys of my youth? What terrible, terrible beasts these things are. Another abomination. Screw you. You will eat no more children on my watch. A skeleton has seen me. Soon it will transverse, transfix, or transmutate itself through that wall, whatever the, 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 the term is. I don't know. I've forgotten so many words since I've been out here. I have defeated enough beasts to leave Perdition. This has never happened before. The exit to Perdition is there. I've been gifted some treasures, but still, my trials are not over. Abominations and a skeleton ghost. Skeleton ghost down. And also a gluttonous cherub. They guard the way. I'll shoot him in his big, fat, flabby ass. So big is the cherub. So big is the gluttonous cherub. His genitalia has disappeared inside himself. But I still recognize it from its foul stench. If not from its lack of undercarriage. Take that. In your knees. I don't know how many shots it will take to down this foe, but there's a, a skeleton archer up above who maybe I should, I shall leave him. It's down, down, dead, exploded, to the death. No more gluttony for you, you evil cherub shit. The skeleton archer is avoiding my blows thanks to its ability to avoid really bad aim. More skeleton ghosts. Two to the right of me, any to the left. I hear none. <gasps> the abomination was birthed from this corpse of the skeleton ghost. I shall wait until it gets closer. There, on the stairs. Right there, there on the stairs. An arrow ends the abomination's life. The skeleton ghost slowly creeping towards me. One arrow, two arrow, three arrow, Four arrow, five arrow, six arrow, seven arrow, eight arrow, nine arrow, fuck, ten arrow. Ah, 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 the skeleton ghost is no more. Blood of the lamb above me. That will fill my final health bar and leave me with full health once again. Here we go to the top. Noises now. Where's the skeleton ghost gone? Is it pushed behind the wall? I hear it. I hear its ghostly moans. Come at me, you bony foe. I shall dispatch you in the same way I dispatched your skeletal brothers with an arrow. Exit to the pit of perdition. My health is now full and also gifted wildfire. Arrows which will set enemies aflame. Surely, with these arrows, you will be spoiling us. I'm back. Back in purgatory. This time, it has not changed, for I have not met my death. But soon the death that I am due will come to me. Soon. 
It will grab me by its cold, icy fingers and throttle the life out of me. But for now, I continue on my journey towards the end of purgatory. <gasps> Do my eyes deceive me? It's a black night, the fiercest of all the nights of hell. The black night will surely strike me down unless I can take it out from a distance. Only headshots have the power to take its health down enough. The shield stopping my arrows. One headshot, one in the neck. Not enough to finish him off. Oh my god, block! Headshot, he's down. The blood from his visor spews from his eye slots over my own eyes. I see nothing but his blood, but surely I have survived and he has died. Another night over there, an abomination close. I must calm down. The whispers, the whispers are the only way I can survive because their hearing is so good. Abominations, skinless and hanging around in packs, waiting to overwhelm me. I hear you singing. I hear you singing, my saints. Please, bless me with your powers. Shower me with your love. Cover me. Cover me with your blinding, guiding light. <gasps> Two knights, one shielded, one with an axe. The axe can be thrown. I blocked his blow. I, sh I shit him. I shit you not, I hit him with my arrow blood of the lamb has been dropped, but my health is still full. I must remember its position so I can return to it later and schnaffle it, schnaffle it up when I'm in need of it most. Something is teleporting. I hear the noise. I hear the noise of ethereal shifts. If they teleport too much, I'll ethereal shift myself. Hiding behind the posts gives you cover from arrows. But no foes. There, one with arrows. I took him down. A red monk and a brown monk dead. Now another monk. Also dead. A new monk spawned though. These hells born keep coming alive. Why won't you die? Why won't you die? One day I shall see that you all die. Some say it's their life's work to rid the worlds of evil. I'm not sure I'm alive anymore, but I shall make sure that somehow the world whether the afterlife or the actual life. Either or, I shall make sure that one day the death, the hellspawn, are removed. More have fallen to my arrows. The ghostly singing calls me forward. One abomination down, two abominations down, a knight appears. <gasps> a blessed marble statue of Angel Gabriel before he fell. Before he became Satan, <gasps> I have woken a knight and a red monk. The red monk has not seen me yet. I must work on my headshots. Headshots not only take down the enemies quicker, but you get the point. An abomination quietly round the corner. Nearly had me. Dodge. I hear his arrows. Rounds of three. Before he must reposition himself. The arrows coming in again. <gasps> Abominations! More than one! Explosive bolts now. Too many arrows to choose from here. Which is least likely to help. To try and set some monks on fire. Burn, you fiends! And you. Burn, burn, burn! burn. Come to me, cataclysm. Now I have exploding, I have 
pestilence. I have two types of exploding. So, George, I sometimes feel you with me. Sometimes I know you're guiding me, helping me through. All I need is to hear your songs occasionally. It gives me strength to push onwards. No portals here. No skeleton ghosts either. I believe this section has been cleared of the Hellspawn. Let's advance faster. What to see here? More Hellspawn. More monks. In the back. Some may say that's a cowardly attack, but nothing. Nothing gives me more pleasure than seeing these beasts die. A whole legion of these monk archers sieged my citadel. Destroying my archers and my horsemen within minutes. What did they do to their corpses? They trampled on them and feasted on them used them as fertilizer to grow more abominations. <gasps> A collection of red monks and a knight. Headshot for the monks? No. How about for the knight? No. Get closer. Headshot. Boom. Lovely crack there to the knight's face. <gasps> An abomination hiding in the walls. I did not see him. The arrows are coming thick and fast now. <gasps> Only just managed to dodge them took down the monk as I did though. These are skills only brought through years and years and years of pushing through purgatory. How many years have I now pushed through purgatory and fought these beasts? Who knows? Not I. <gasps> In your face, you spooky poopy shit. Float away. Float away. The second, the second chapel is done. One more chapel to do before we reach the final base of the beast of purgatory. Will we make it? Who knows? Perhaps we'll find out next week on Whispers of Fear. If you're up there, gods, don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe you can pass the time before my return next week by checking out some of these strange moving paintings from someone called Ian who lives in a VR corner. That should be pretty good. Maybe. Farewell for now. Wish me luck.